collecting data on Ajahn where I work. I love it so much that I just continue with it when I'm back home. And it's through the experiments that I do during my evenings and weekends that I learn new techniques that can help make the visuals that I make during the day more effective and engaging. Well, officially, I graduated as an astronomer. So, of course, one of my first bigger personal experiments was about exoplanets, planets outside our solar system. And by using the freely available data on a few hundred planets, combined with the approach of data storytelling, I tried to explain how weird and amazing these planets really are. And the trickiest but most fun part was to model the orbits according to the fundamental laws I've been taught at university. And if you look closely at this elliptical orbit, you'll see that the planet actually moves faster the closer it gets to the central star. It's quite fun that you can create a small universe on your screen with just some circles and data and math. But it's not only space related. I like to visualize math in general and see the beauty that it hides. Take these two formulas, for example. They might not seem familiar, but when I show you what they relate to, it's spirographs. Well, it wasn't something that I considered as math when I was still a kid, but spirographs are very mathematical, and you can get the most interesting shapes by tweaking two formulas a bit. And the added benefit of doing it in the browser is that your pen can slip, and that you can animate multiple lines at once, or play around with orientations to get wonderful new forms, or quickly going through color palettes and finding out that some reveal hidden shapes. And there are so many fascinating shapes to find. And by shaking up the math of a perfectly aligned spirograph a bit, a whole new world of beauty reveals itself in imperfection, where color and overlapping lines can create completely unexpected works of art. And even if the beauty of math isn't obvious from the start, I still like to see what I might find. And it could be a simple concept, like the number pi. Well, I tried to visualize pi's randomness by converting each number after the decimal into a step direction. And we're gonna follow the path that the numbers make. And by looking at the shape of the first 100 numbers, well, that says nothing about the shape of the next 100 or even 1,000 numbers, which in turn says nothing about the shape of 10,000 numbers. Although here it might be easier to use color to follow the path from start to finish instead of direction. And this goes on and on to a million and far beyond. Well, these experiments have taught me to go beyond the norm more easily and create an interesting twist on even bar chart 101. Well, if you want to see more of these experiments and data visualizations, please visit my website, visualcinnamon.com, or follow me on Twitter, at Nadi Bremer. I love to tweet about data visualizations I find on the web. Thank you very much.